Fox News alert, a push to extend unemployment benefits. Hitting a new roadblock, Senate Majority Leader Harry Reid so far refusing to consider Republican reforms to offset that cost. Chief Congressional Correspondent Mike Emanuel is watching all of this now. Do Republicans think Senator Reid is seriously going to consider their amendments on this, Mike? Bill, short answer is no. Republican sources I've talked to say if Reid were truly serious, he'd be negotiating with the six Republican senators who voted yes last week on a procedural vote to see what they needed in order to follow this through to final passage. Here's a leading Republican senator on the need for amendments and also shifting the focus of unemployment to help put people back to work. This is a system that needs to be fixed. It needs to be modified. We need to have it reviewed. We need to have it paid for, all of those things. And if we could have open debate in the United States Senate and amendments, then maybe we could make it better in the long run. At this stage, there's a serious lack of trust in the United States Senate. A lot of Republicans I've talked to say they think Reid may handpick a couple of amendments just to say he considered amendments, Bill. Well, what is the latest from the majority leader, Harry Reid, on this amendment issue, Mike? Well, sources familiar say it is possible they may consider some Republican amendments to see if they can get enough Republican support to pass an unemployment extension. Reid has ripped his Republican colleagues, suggesting they've only offered amendments that are political in nature and that they should consider amendments that would actually have a chance of passing the Senate. Reid spokesman Adam Gentleson told reporters late Friday, quote, Senator Reid has continued speaking with his Republican colleagues and informed them he is absolutely willing for the Senate to consider a reasonable number of relevant amendments from Republicans. But again, there's a, lot, a lack of trust in the United States Senate at this point. All right, Mike. Thanks, Mike Emanuel. We'll watch that again as it continues this week. From the Hill. So over in the House, a push to force people who receive food stamps to go to work. Florida Congressman Steve Southerland telling Fox News on Sunday that the rule would apply only to adults in good health. Excluded children, excluded the disabled, excluding seniors, uh, that they work, train for work, look for work, or volunteer. Uh, and I think that, um, that they'd be productive. I, I think that uh, over 80% of America agrees with that premise. So I think it, uh, it makes sense, uh, but it only applies, again, uh, to the able-bodied individuals mm -hmm. without dependents. So what do you think about that? The number of people on food stamps has exploded to a record 47 million people in the country. Now receiving them, the program cost nearly $80 billion in fiscal 2012. It's up like 18, 19 mil, uh, million in five years. It's incredible. extraordinary the way it's skyrocketed. Extraordinary, right. So